Hello, today we're going to be looking at how to set up a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi. Two different methods, one configuring it on your router, two configuring it on the Raspberry Pi itself. I'll show you both. Is this going to be complicated? No, it's not. It's going to be quite simple. A little bit of typing and a few mouse clicks and that'll be it. Thank you. Oh, good. Get on with it then. So a static IP address is very useful for connecting via PuTTY or another SSH client. So let's look at method one. Configure a static IP address on your router. You may have a different router to me, but you'll need to identify the page which has the IPv4 IP or IP address settings and go to the part which says DHCP. Once you've identified your device or entered its MAC address, you will then need to choose the last octet, which is the decimal number which you'll use to identify your Raspberry Pi on your network. Choose something memorable, so .15, .50, take your pick, whatever's free. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small so to configure a static IP address on your Raspberry Pi do CD to change directory then forward slash etc and you will see a file called dhcpcd.conf that is the file you need to edit how do i do that sudo space nano space dhcpcd.conf and press enter bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Here I'm typing the WLAN 0 interface details This is because it's the wireless LAN If it was static on an Ethernet wired configuration it would be ETH0 just signing the static IP address, there you can see again 192.168.1.15. That's the address I'll use when I connect via PuTTY. And below is the static router, which is the default gateway, which is the address which you need to use to access the internet. How do I know what my default gateway IP address is? Your default gateway will be provided to you with the details when you get your router for your broadband. Um, it'll also be the same IP address as the IP address that you'd use to type in to administer your router. Okay, I'm bored of listening to you now. Can you just play some music instead? What if it doesn't work? You might need to clear the DHCP bindings on your router as they will be issued for 24 hours. So if it doesn't work with a new IP address, just go back and reuse your old IP address until it clears or reboot your router. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, before you go, Dr. Pi said, please could you subscribe to his channel. Thank you, bye.